हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ आई एन आई सी टी रिकॉल क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन स्टार्टिंग विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन हुई इज नॉट डन फॉर फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर एवोशन एज ए मेथड ऑफ फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर एवोशन नंबर वन इज डायलिटेशन एंड क्यूरिटस येस इट इज डन फॉर फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर एवोशन एज ए मेथड मैनो एम भी ए मैनुअल भैक्यूम एस्पिरेशन येस इट इज ऑल्सो डन मिफे प्रिस्टन एंड मिसो प्रिस्टल कम्बिनेशन डायबलेट येस इट इज ऑल्सो यूज एज ए मेडिकेशन टू इंड्यूस फार्स ट्राइमेस्टर एवोशन एक्सट्रामोटिक इथाक्रीन इथाक्रीन इन इन्फ्यूशन ये नो इट इज नॉट डन एज फर्स्ट मेथड ऑफ फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर एवोशन सो द एंसर विल बी एक्सट्रामोटिक इथाक्रीन इन इन्फ्यूशन नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू आई थिंक इट वॉज द इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड द टाइप ऑफ प्लासेंटा दैट हैज बीन शोन वॉज सक्स इट इज नथिंग बट सक्स सेंचुरियट प्लासेंटा सो इट इज सक्स सेंचुरियट प्लासेंटा एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो सक्स सेंचुरियट प्लासेंटा इज नथिंग बट इज अ कंडीशन इन हुईच वन और मोर एक्सेसरी लोब इज देयर That develop in the membranes and apart from the main placental body, e and to which vessels of the fetal origin usually connect them. So this is the main placental body. This is another ex 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 accessory lobe. So this is main placental body, and this is another accessory lobe. Ap and this accessory lobe is apart from the main. placental body to which to which vessels of the fetal usually origin or connect so this is the cord and this is the main lobe and this is the accessory lobe and this is the membrane okay so this is nothing but succinctured placenta coming to question number 43 sequence of events in normal labor so you have to make them in order of sequence number 1 is engagement restitution external rotation and crowning among this four option what is the first event that will happen that is engagement so engagement will be the first one thing that will happen during labor followed by crowning so crowning of hair after engagement among this four option there will be crowning after crowning there will be yes there will be restitution and following restitution there will be external rotation then delivery of the shoulder delivery of the body by lateral flexion delivery of the whole body so this is the most appropriate order of sequence for this question 1 4 2 3 means engagement followed by crowning engagement crowning restitution external rotation so the sequence of events are like this engagement then flexion then in internal rotation then yes then it is crowning restitution external rotation and delivery of the shoulder delivery of the body by lateral flexion coming to question number 44 dithyl still westerol exposure causes which type of carcinoma the answer will be clear cell carcinoma I mean, question number forty-five. First sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity. So the first sign will be loss of knee jerk. So this is the first sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity. This is used for management of what is the obstetric use of maxal management of PIH pregnancy induced hypertension, preeclampsia, and eclampsia. as all of you know about the pritchard regimen so this is the use so maxalp is uh, used for management of preeclampsia eclampsia the first sign of maxalp toxicity will be loss of knee jerk next coming to question number 40 is what is fagitus uterinus it is not uh, it is not the infection of it is not any kind of infection rather it is on special term that actually explains or that is about cry of baby within the uterus it is not in, it is not a not a infection so it is not infection of vagina or infection of uterus or infection of uh, uterus and vagina rather it is cry of baby within uterus so it is vagitus uterinus 
next coming to another clinical question 16 year old girl with widely placed nipple streak ovaries on usg absence of pubic hair so another option i think was the there that is shield another options like shield chest or wave neck shield chest or wave neck so i think these clinical clues are there don't know how many clinical clues are there but this question was about nothing but diagnosis from the clinical hints or clues this is turner syndrome so this is turner syndrome coming to question number 48 sequence of events in dilatation and curators so uterine sound, serial dilatation, curating and determining the size of the uterus. The so first thing is uterine determining the size of uterus. Next is uterine sound. Next is serial dilatation and next step is curatage. So this is a sequence of events in the operation dilatation and curatage. Next question is which stain is used for staining iron in tissue section? Answer is Prussian blue stain or pearl stain. Prussian blue stain or pearl stain for iron staining in tissue. Coming to question number 50, corrected reticulocyte count. Uh, where retic count is given 9% and hemoglobin is 5%. You have to calculate the corrected reticulocyte count so the formula for corrected reticulocyte count is retic count into either into patient hemoglobin or hematocrit divided by normal hemoglobin in hematocrit so here corrected reticulocyte sound will be here retic count is given nine percent and patient hemoglobin was five if we take the normal hemoglobin as 15 gram percent so the answer will be 5 by 15 3 9 3 so it will be 3 percent okay so um we are considering the normal hemoglobin as 50 and patient hemoglobin was 5 and as retic count was 9 percent after calculating we are getting the corrected reticulous sound reticulocyte count as 3 percent so the answer is 3 percent so thank you very much for watching this video in the next video we are going to discuss next set of questions thank you subscribe the channel for more videos